Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, your host, The Raven, here, part three of my Skyrim play, Let's Play. Uh, last time um, we were making our way to Riverwood, we'd explored a little land over to. We explored a little bit of land over this way, but um, we decided to head back to Riverwood, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Let me check my map, because I saved in an open area. Okay, here we are. We're headed towards it. And let's hustle a little bit. Um, see, the, we're going to Riverwood, we're going to meet this guy whose uncle was a blacksmith over there, so, let's go check that out. I love the music of Skyrim, I especially like the night music. Alright, let's, I'm supposed to go in here, well actually the blacksmith is out here. Um, I'd accidentally came over here by mistake and triggered that um, and didn't realize I was that I was my recording had stopped so I had to save in the general area where I left off and pick the video up back from there so I even had a t chance to talk to these guys I just ran away and uh, so we're gonna oh, and I'm almost level two cool so let's talk to our friends secret we have company what the hell did you see that? What's up with that plate of cheese? So what's going on? Hadmar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scold. We were stopped in Helgen. When we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. What is up with this guy's. I don't what is know he doing? He just got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help I in any way it. I can. But I need your help. We need what your you need. help. So, let's see. He's gonna give us this stuff, which... I don't know. I hope I know. I hope y'all noticed that. But like, there was something really weird going on with that plate of cheese. It was just like flying around. I don't know what he was doing underneath the table. Probably don't want to know. But anyway, we got bread, carrot, uh, eider cheese wheel. All, all this is pretty much crap. Um, except for the mead, the that gives you some stamina back. Iron ingot is great. Lockpick is great. Mead is all right. Potion of Mile of Healing, that's pretty good for this level in the game. Uh, and then the rest of this is just food. Let's just take all this, we'll sell it later. Alright. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood it is, is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers oh, yeah. he can. If you'll do that for me. Alright, that's simple enough. And um, we have some options here during the, for the conversation. Do you have any supplies I could take? That'd be pretty greedy, especially since I, he just gave me a bunch of stuff. How do I get the white one from here? That's a valid question. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach. The Jarl's Palace. All right, cool. Let's, can you tell me about the Jarl? Can you tell me about Riverwood? Can I use your forge? What do you think about the war? Now, um, I love this music. It just sounds so great. It's like, ooh, you know, it just sounds like so profound, but yet, like, simple and tame, you know? So anyway... Um, one of the things, and one of the great things about Skyrim is the fact you can customize your own weapons and armor. And in order to do that, you need to use a forge and do the blacks, you know, do some blacksmithing. 
um, get your smithing up because that'll really help you get the really cool and good weapons. Like from my personal experience, anything you find, you know, throughout the lands, it's mostly crap. Like you find a sword, it'll just be like a basic humdrum, like dented, you know, sword or whatever. Most of the time, they're not even worth picking up off the guys' bodies to take with you, you know. So. What did it look like? Did it have big Okay, teeth? so let's talk to this guy again. Don't your hey man, try to talk to you. Take what you need, my can friend. I, Within reason. Can I use the forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Alright, cool. All right, so that's all we're going to talk to him about. I, I know where oh, White Run is, so we're going to talk there. Um, leather, the main things you need for smithing, um, in the beginning, you know, you start off poor. So leather that you get from animal pelts or whatever, which I don't know if I have any, do I? The tanning rack is used to turn animals into leather and cut leather into strips. Both leather and strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. So let's see if I have any. Do I have any? Okay, I don't have anything. All right, so we need like wolf pelts, all types of crap. And um, here's some steel ingots. It doesn't say steel. My gameplay method, if it doesn't say steel, I'm taking it. You know, I mean, it's just, this is how I feel. Now, if it says steel, then you know I won't get it, unless I wind up killing the person because like they're like a they're like an asshole or an enemy or something. Now, see these say steel, the helmet, the iron mace, the dagger you can take, but I don't want it. Uh, steal the shield, take these iron boots, which I don't want any heavy iron, so I'm gonna leave all that there. Um, so let's go. Well, we need leather. Let's go over here to use a grindstone. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Grindstone. Use a grindstone to improve weapons. All improvements require specific materials, which you can find, buy, or find in the world. Excellent. So these are the weapons I have on me, and the ones that are highlighted are also the ones I'm able to improve. I have three longbows. I need to sell those. So anyway. Requires an iron ingot. Let's improve this iron sword. I don't see what it. I don't want to see what it does. Did I actually improve it, or did I just like look at it? Okay, damage eight, weight is nine, value is twenty-five. And if we improve it, it'll the damage will go up to nine. So you press X to craft it. Let's just do that to get some smithing experience. Alright, cool. And um, for the forge to make a new weapon, you need leather and like iron and stuff. Which we don't have anything, so everything will be gray because we don't have any leather. And I did find a jewel, but I don't have any things. So basically, collect iron, collect steel, and kill kill hostile animals. I'm mostly... Okay, whatever, dude. Um, so kill animals that are... I kill animals that are hostile to me to get leather. Like bears, wolves, that type, type of stuff. So let's cross the river. I could have, I should have took the bridge over there. I'm such an idiot. But that's how I am. Because, like, the game is so open world. It's so free roaming that, like, me, I just take off. In a, if I want to leave a town, I just leave it. Like, even if it, like, I'll just go between some houses and walk off. I won't, like, get on the pathway and, you know, follow the path. Something, I mean, that's just how I do it. Because, like, why follow a straight path every time when this game is so open world? 
And so far, the night's pretty. Uh, here we go. I was just about to say how peaceful the night was. Uh, we took this ass out. Alright, here we go. Now we got some leather, baby. Alright. And, uh, we'll use this. We'll use the Forge and White Run to demonstrate smithing, which is pretty simple. It's not very complex. It's basically smith whatever you can whenever you can to get your smithing up um, some items give you a bigger boost when you smith them some items give you a lesser boost when you smith them gold like really fine jewelry like necklaces and rings and stuff they seem to give you a huge like smithing bonus um, leather armor and uh, basic iron swords and stuff eh, give you a little something something but not too much so uh, it seems pretty peaceful now I almost want to encounter more wolves. Usually you can't get away from them. They're like everywhere, like harassing you. So I believe that's Whiterun up there, which it is. And here's a person. It looks like a guard, though. It's a guard. Okay. So usually there's more like wolves and stuff around. But check out this skyline. This is another reason why I love Skyline. And I do hear something. Alright, we're kicking his ass. Alright. So that gives you experience. Fighting gives you experience. You know, using your shield and your sword. Also, we're getting pelts. And I think there's a wolf out there. Let's go over there. Well, you know what? Maybe this is a time to use archery, which I haven't favored in my bow yet, so let's do that now. And Joker moved just when I'm about to take a shot. Can it see me? Ah, oh, I hate it across the ridge. Oh, I got it. Bam! Right in the eyeball. Oh yeah, here we go. And it had a silver ring on it. Awesome. Alright, let's take all this. We got one of our arrows back. We got a wolf pelt. Oh yeah. And let's switch back to our iron sword and shield. Now, I'm trying to scope to see if I can see anything else uh, in the land. Alright, I don't see too much else that I would have to, that I would have to journey, you know, that I don't, you know, open, like, readily available, like, and I'm not going to go, like, wandering in no mountains and woods. I'm just going to walk to the side while looking at this sky, because that's awesome, man. It's too bad that you can't see, like, sights like this in real life, unless you're, like, in a remote area, because now we got light pollution and... There's city lights and streets, you know, you can't look up and see anything like that. And plus, you'd have to be really far north to see that anyway, but... And our, our moon isn't so large, obviously. But I think Skyrim has like three moons, and that's just one of them. That's a really awesome view. I mean, the sky is really out tonight, and I'm so glad because, you know, I'm bringing this to y'all. Here's a camp of the Khajiit. With their traders, I never had a problem with them. They seem cool. May the sun warm your path, friend. Let's see what she does. The road makes this one weird. Okay, and very every time you come to like a town or encampment, there may or may not be somebody who can train you in a specific uh, skill level. Like she's offering to teach me how to sneak. And let's see how much she's asking. They'll never see you coming. Okay, my sneak is up to 15. Okay, she she wants two hundred bucks. I only have a hundred two bucks, so we'll learn sneaking training later. But she's out here outside of right one, so we don't have to worry about losing her. We know where she is, and uh, I think this is a good opportunity to go over the skill tree. All right, so basically, um, just like you created your character at the beginning, you know, you created their appearance. 
this skill, the skill uh, system lets you create their, like, how they fight, how they, how you play them in the world. Like, actually, guess who the character really is. Because, you know, outward appearance doesn't mean anything. Um, all these things can be leveled up with time. But it's wiser to, when you first start off, f focus on a specific um, skill set. Do you want to be a warrior? Do you want to be a magician? Um, do you think? Do you want to steal all the time? Do you want to lock? Do you want to steal? Sneak around? Pick locks? You know that type of stuff. Um, maybe you don't want to be a mage. Maybe you want to do a little bit of fighting and a little bit of ma magic. So just get a clear idea of what you want to do. You know, based on your personal preference. Like try out magic. Try out you know melee fighting. Try out one-handed weapons. Try out two-handed weapons. Um, try axes, try maces, try swords, try all the different weapons, see what you like personally and focus on that as you level up because if you try to like level up every single one of these trees you're gonna go down, you're gonna be weak and you're gonna have a whole lot of stuff that's gonna be not very effective and you're gonna get killed a lot and you're gonna be frustrated so just focus on what you wanna be. Like me, I'm not so big on magic which I've stated probably to death already but smithing pretty important unless you're a mage you don't use weapons at all um, but smithing is pretty important if you're gonna use any type of weaponry and you know any type of armor smithing is important um, I also like enchanting magical weapons and magical armors and swords they really kick ass I mean you can put stuff on your armor and your swords that just save your life and they make battling so awesome you know so I'm definitely going to be focused on enchanting and um, and smithing. I'm not going to do heavy armor. I'm going to focus on block because I, I will be using a shield and I will be using one-handed weapons. So I'm going so to focus on one-handed weapons, shields, uh, smithing, enchanting, um, light armor because I'm going to be light doing a lot of light armor. And I'm also going to improve archery and my sneak. And there's also, yeah, and I said light armor. So those are the skill trees that I'm going to work on personally. Um, as you play, make sure you just, you know, find what you like. Like speech, to me, okay, you might get a little bit of better prices at the shop or, you know, something along those lines. But to me, like, go at the, it doesn't really just seem that important because in my other game I have so much gold it doesn't even matter how much things cost and most of the time they're selling stuff that I don't want anyway like I can make a better weapon than what they're selling me in the shop so why would I want to spend my money and also whether persuading somebody or intimidating somebody sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but most of the time if you can intimidate them you might as well just beat the crap out of them physically in physical combat anyway and if you can persuade them most of the time, just asking them to do something, they'll do it anyway. So most of the time, either people are going to agree with you or are going to disagree with you, period. So I didn't really see how much persuasion or you know intimidation really came into play. So speech, not that important to me. All right. Well, now we're finished with that. Let's push on to the castle. Yeah, I know that um, tutorials aren't the most fun thing to watch. And just listen to me talk and explain things isn't that awesome. But, you know... I'm doing this for everyone's benefit, benefit of my viewers, and this guy's gonna talk to us. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. All right, so this guy's like, want to know why we're here? The gates are locked because they say the gates are locked because the dragon is about. But yet, I haven't told anybody that a dragon has attacked yet. So maybe they're psychic, maybe they're just doing it on rumor, and they're waiting for official confirmation. But it seems a little bit precognizant on the guards to have the doors locked, but okay. Uh, let's see. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. And this is Persuade. Will this change your mind? 72 gold. That's another thing I don't do is bribe people. Stand aside or else. You know, I'll come back later. Obviously we're not going to leave. I don't want to fight the guards. Um, I'm not, definitely not going to give them any of my money. And, uh, now either you can say this, which this is true, because you were at Helgen, you did see the dragon, or you know on, 
what you're really here, you know, the guy gave you a quest, so I'm gonna say this. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. So anyway, and a lot of my friends are playing Skyrim, it's just, just popped up on the screen. And yes, I'm making a sword spin. I always like to like manipulate the icons that um show up during the loading screens. So here we are in White Run. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Damn those great mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming. Okay, so we have a little bit of dispute here. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More in hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker. Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Okay, cool. All right, but she's a blacksmith. Don't forget to check. She's one of the, the blacksmith, shop, and um, I believe you can use her stuff as long as she's not using it. I don't know if you have to talk to her though. I just, I just usually just um, I usually like to talk to people first. You know, I just don't like just use stuff, and I'm like running a crazy way through the city. I always take like crazy like ways and stuff. And there's like a that guy be begging. Let's avoid him. And uh this a companion hall, I believe, and we're gonna head up this way to Dragon's Reach. So let's inform this Jarl of uh, what we're going to do. And I hate this chick. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. Okay. Last time I said this, I'm going to say this. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. Yeah, and like, see, I don't like her attitude. I was told to talk to the Jarl, not you. I, w I can't wait to fight her. There's a, there's a quest. If you join the Stormcloaks, you get to battle these guys. I'm gonna kick her ass later. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. I'm right, starting dude. to think. I want to hear what she has to say. Yeah, that's right. Back off, chick. Swear. You're ugly ass. Anyway. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? Alvor? The smith, isn't he? Reliable, solid fellow. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a I was there. This wasn't some stormcloak raid gone wrong? Yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. And you don't want to let someone know about your criminal history. So, you basically just tell the facts. I was there, I saw the dragon burn Helgen to the ground. But play how you want to, say what you want to. That's what I highly encourage. So your Ereleth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... 
I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my young. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would yeah, be get best. out of here. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. All right, so he said that he got a job just for my particular talents. Um, I don't know what talents I've done besides like stabbing people through the chest with my uh, my sword, my one-handed sword. But okay, let's talk to this guy. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing. Let's... Hmm. What project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne. Not over here in a wizard. Man, he's another guy with an attitude. I'd kick his ass. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Yeah, just tell me what you need me to do. I really hate this guy. Like, the Yarrow Barograph, he has, like, really irritating, like, followers or whatever. So let's hear what this... You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. All right, cool. Well, we don't need to talk to the rest of him. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons. Okay. Quickly. All right, quit talking to me, guys. Okay, so anyway, let's check out the gift that we got from, um, the Jarl. I, I don't know what it is. It might be apparel, though. Uh, let's see here. A novice hood. Oh, okay, no, I took that off a mage. So, I don't think it's any of this. Wait, is this studded imperial armor? Let's see. Imperial light armor, 25. Weight rating of 6. Studded. 25 same thing okay that's not too much different did he give us a weapon I don't know what the hell he gave us well if he gave us food that wouldn't matter anyway all right well I don't know what that guy gave us he's like here here's your reward maybe he just gave us gold or something I wasn't paying I wasn't reading uh, at the top when it said what it was well anyway ladies and gentlemen uh, it's rolling up on the 30 minute mark um I appreciate y'all watching uh, part three of this series and uh, so stay tuned for part four where I'm gonna go we're gonna go inside this uh, junk dungeon get this dragon stone uh, hopefully get to get into some action and um It'll be great, and I enjoy bringing these videos to y'all. Skyrim is a great game. Um, always remember to like, you know, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me about your experiences with uh, Skyrim. Like, what have you done? What have you seen? Uh, what do you think is amazing? What what missions are cool that you want to see me play through? Uh, let me know in your comments, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. And I always get back to all my commenters as quickly as possible. I'm your host, The Raven, and I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you, and uh, stay tuned for episode four.